Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? Well, I just had another birthday pass, and I came to a rather stark realization. I believe I am just a material guy living in a material world. Kind of disappointing, actually. But one thing that you won't be disappointed in is today's Ask Dotto Tech Show, because we are going to answer your most common questions specifically about how we produce our videos here on Dotto Tech. Ask Dotto Tech is the show that I produce that answers all of your questions. Now, where you ask these questions are in our YouTube comments area. So if you have a question about anything technology, productivity, production related, please let me know here in the comments area. And I do my best to record videos for all of the different uh, topics that I can answer. And I also answer a lot of them just in text within the, within the area itself. Uh, but today I'm going to kind of do a best of because overwhelmingly the most popular question on the channel is how we go about creating our videos the tutorials that we do here on the Dotto Tech channel now I've shown you in a variety of different ways how I do it in the past but I will return to it now now specifically today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about how I do the green screen how I do this keying effect of having my face over top of the screen as I'm talking which a lot of people are interested in. And we're also going to talk about how we get our mobile devices on screen. We have both Android and iOS uh, phones that we put on screen. So I'm going to cover those two areas uh, today. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to stop the video recording right now. And I'm going to show you how I edit the green screen first, how I create the, the face over top of the background effect. Uh, to begin with, in, in order to do that, what's going to happen is I'm going to stop what I'm recording right now, and then I'm going to edit this part that we've seen up to now right after this. Does that make sense? It'll make sense in just a second. Hold on. In that moment that just happened, what happened was I stopped the recording and I saved the file that I was just recording, which is this introduction that we've just seen. So this is a tool I use called ScreenFlow. Now, ScreenFlow is a screen capture and recording tool and it allows us to edit our video. It's a Mac-only product. In the, in the Windows world, Camtasia is the closest thing to ScreenFlow. And people always ask me what's better. I don't know what's better. ScreenFlow is what I use. It does a great job. I'm very happy with it. Now, what happens in ScreenFlow? If I click here in the very top, you can see that I've got a recorder that's running that's basically pulling all of the different assets together to allow me to record this video. So the setup is I've got a webcam setup, which is the camera that you see running. I have my microphone set up here, which is feeding in to ScreenFlow as well. Plus I have the computer screen that I'm working on right here, right in front of you right now. Now that computer screen is also being recorded. And when all three are pulled together, this is what you have. So if we just let this play here, this was just what we recorded a few moments ago in our YouTube comments area. So if you have a question about so you see anything, what's happening. So I haven't edited this at all at this point here. So that's what I we have to do now. But I'm gonna show you how I make my the background transparent so my face floats over the top. And the way we do that is if I scroll down here into the bottom, let's just make the screen a little bit smaller, there we go. What I've got is I've got a playback window here. On the right-hand side of this application, I've got tools. And down below, I have a multi-track editor. This represents all of the different assets that I have, the video and audio assets that are part of this video. Now, the top one here, if I click on it, you'll see the highlights, is the audio and video track of my face. And the bottom one is actually the screen. Now I can zoom in and out, watch what happens. I can zoom in and out on the screen so I can actually position the screen where I want it. And what I'll do is, before I go and use this within the actual video, is I'll actually blur out the background here to make it more of a background rather than a foreground type image. But what we wanted to learn is how do I manage this video part here? How do I key and knock out the background in my video? So behind me, I've got a green screen set up, which is, the, which is basically a kind of an industry standard thing that we allow, that allows us to choose one color within the image and knock it out, basically turn it into an alpha channel. So what I'm gonna do right here, if we take a look on the right hand side here, is the way that screen flow works is it adds a shadow to everything. So I'm just gonna turn off the shadow because we're not gonna need that. That's just kind of a, a subtlety of how screen flow works. But this video filter tool here is what I really want to enact. I click on the video filter tool and up comes a variety of different filters that I can add. 
I'm gonna add a chroma key filter. When I click add, it looks for the most common background color and knocks it out. And I can see the color represented right here in a little color pop-up. I can actually modify the color because I've got some kind of, I, I've got some variations in the, in the green screen background here, but I can modify it to where I want it. Oops. And once I've done that, it now has knocked out that Technology, background. Technology, productivity, so production see, related. It's that easy. Please let me to create a green screen effect or basically bring your video on top of a background image. Now, the background image in this case was my computer screen and the video is on top. So what do you need to do this? You need a decent camera, a webcam on your computer. You need editing software like ScreenFlow or Camtasia that will allow you to key, to chroma key or key out the background. You need a solid color in the background. Now it doesn't have to be green, but it does have to be a different color than the rest of you. It can't be the same color as the clothes you're wearing, for example. So green screen and blue screen are the most common colors that you'd want to use so that you can knock out the background. And then you want reasonably good lighting so that you can have a nice even wash, uh, a, nice, uh, a nice light on your face, plus a, a solid color on the background so it's easy to key it out. That is how we record, uh, that's how I do my green screen effect. Now, let me just pause and I'll come back and show you how we do our phones. Now I have started recording and now I'm recording as you can see my smartphone, my iPhone, which we can see running right here. Now the iPhone, the way that we actually configure the iPhone in order to record is I've got the newest version of the iPhone, the 6 Plus here, or the second newest. Uh, they've got the 6 Plus S now, I guess that's available. But one of the cool things about the way Apple's configured it is using the lightning connector, which is the connector on the back of the iPhone, having that plugged into my computer, ScreenFlow will recognize the phone being plugged in and will actually record it through this tethered connection, through this cabled connection directly in. Now the nice thing is it's recording in a high definition so that if we go in and we take a look at any app or anything within this, within this, within the iPhone, we can actually zoom in and we have really good resolution uh, for the screen because it's recording it in high resolution. It's really nice recording the iPhone screen. It'll also record audio from the iPhone screen, etc. So that's how we can record the iPhone. An Android phone, on the other hand, and I've got a Samsung Galaxy, or sorry, Samsung Galaxy Note Edge here, is a little bit more difficult to do. Now, it, there's no plug-in. Well, there is a way to plug it in if you use a, a, a tool from Samsung itself. But for most of us, if you're in the Mac world, we want to use a tool called Reflector 2, and I'm going to launch it right now. Now, what Reflector 2 is, is it is a... It is a web, it is a uh, basically a, um, a Wi-Fi enabled conduit that will allow us to take, it will allow us to take an iPhone feed or something like that using Apple's AirPlay, but it will also allow us to use Chromecast in order for us to send the image from the phone to the screen. Now, you aren't going to see this until I've got the phone set up, but I'm going to now choose my device within the Chromecast and cast this screen because I now have, there we go, because I have the Reflector 2 running on my computer, I'm able to now cast the screen to, of, the, uh, of the Android phone to the Mac, which case, once it's on screen, ScreenFlow is recording it. It's a bit of a cumbersome process if you think about it because what has to happen is there's what let me see there's a piece of software on our smartphone there's a piece of software on the mac and then there's the screen casting software capturing all so there's three pieces to the puzzle but i can show you two of those pieces or actually i can show you all three of those pieces right now so within the reflector software if we go into the preferences we see here we've got a variety of different preferences such as setting up the recording the resolution that it's going to be setting and how it all pulls together now the software, once it's enabled it, on the smartphone, if we have the Chromecast software installed, you go into the Chromecast software and there you choose to cast the screen. Now, what you have to do is it, it, it'll automatically connect and discover this device if the reflector software is running, but you have to have each device on the same Wi-Fi network. That is essential to make this work. Now, the downside of this is it's not high resolution. It's not as high a resolution as we're gonna get from the iPhone, but it is a great way for us to bring the, to bring an Android phone into the, into the, uh, into the broadcast as well, or in, and record the screen as well. And so finally, of course, once it's here, 
We are now recording it using our screencasting software, uh, the in, in recording screen flow, and it's all done. Well, I hope that's a good explanation of how we do our green screen and capture our phone screens. Now, I've got to point out, I do have, if you visit dottotech.com, I've got a great free webinar here called How I Create My Videos. It's a, about a one-hour tutorial where I walk through my entire process and all of my tools that I use to create my screencast. It's a great introduction to this particular topic and there will be a link in the description below. Now, I hope you found this video today to be useful and remember there's three ways to stay in touch with us here at Dottotech. The first is, of course, we'd love you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Secondly is subscribe to our newsletter. If you do, you will hear about our upcoming live events and tutorials of which there are many. And finally, Dottotech is a community funded channel brought to you through the generosity of you folks through our crowdfunding site at Patreon. If you drop by our Patreon page, you'll discover exactly what's involved in being a patron of Dottotech, how it supports us and how it supports you and the perks that are available to you as well, which are, I believe, a little bit of awesomeness. Until next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.